Hey, welcome back. In this video, we will do something out of this less than humble piece of a cutting that I saved from a Tui Occidentalis variety Nigra last year when I did the forest. In order to maximize the aesthetics of this material, which is very humble, it occurred to me that I could try to do something a little more dramatic with the pot instead of a simple pot like this. And it occurred to me to perhaps try to use again this one but instead of this way as I was hoping to use it in this way which it also stands uh, and like so this would look like a tree in the escarpment and depending on where the roots are perhaps even having this branch going over and around to here So I will make uh, one hole here in a position that would serve as drainage um, if it were in to be used in this position but since we're going to use it in this position we don't actually need a drainage hole but we do need an attachment for the tree. So I'll make the hole here just because it would work if in the future I want to use it in the other direction. Um, but that's the only reason why and it will serve for the attachment of the tree which will come there is there is this trunk here that comes all the way here and this so here you can see the ed end of it so this will be attached there and the tree will come around and on the top and with this we'll make a, an asymmetric design towards this side with a dramatic rock on this side so the first step will be here to do this drainage hole and here should be okay it our drainage hole is done where's the here it's a bit high I think is it it is a bit touch the tree in the air here and have enough area for substrate underneath and around I will be using sphagnum moss long fiber sphagnum moss so this creates a bed upon which we can put our substrate this will be turn into enough so it doesn't pass 
through the hole and get stuck there. to remember that it has a side that is not facing the sun so it you have to respect that when you wire so we'll twist and bring it here substrate that fell some sphagnum moss it's all good this is a species that loves humidity I could even plant it in 100% sphagnum moss and it would probably be happy about it so the more sphagnum moss I can stick here not just to solidify this composition the walls but also to maintain humidity the better I want a slanted surface to this and in the future I will try to uncover more of the base. The base will be a little bit covered today and this dead wood here. I want it to be the just gl like glancing on the surface. So let's um, put some more sphagnum moss here and then tuck it in with the roots you could do this with um, keto but keto is very dense and so you're actually decreasing the amount of oxygen for the roots when you do that of course it works uh, given that it's been used for centuries but perhaps there is a better way with sphagnum moss only as I'm doing here and I did not invent this of course this is something I learned from Ryan Neal of the sphagnum moss we can also make it hold within the we can make it hold within the roots with with something sharp that just tucks it in
starting to take shape we have here lower pad we have here an upper pad and and, and the apex we have here uh, these branches here and we have something in the back here Okay, so this is the final result. I didn't bother showing you how I apply the moss. It's simply a sheet of moss that I remove from another pot. I put this piece of wire that you may be able to notice here as a, as a staple to hold the moss in place. And I finish wiring the tree. My goal was to remove as little foliage as possible this is all the foliage that I removed, which is about 20% of, or 10% of what I had. Mainly one or two branches that were growing really on the inside and shorten a few that, basically things that were on the inside. And even here I left some more that I need. This is clearly in a place that is not necessary, but it doesn't bother for now I'll let the tree evolve it has a nice shape now um, I didn't wire it entirely there are a few very weak branches that I did not touch this will now evolve next year it will grow and 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 this is it for now so as you can see it is possible to build something quite interesting out of nothing and it is a great exercise every time you style a tree no matter how simple it is uh, you will notice that you get better at it i am by no means an artist all of this is learned all of this is just practice and and the more you do it the, the better you get at it so thank you for watching and until the next one bye bye for now